Greetings once again, one and all. So, here we are. Um, looking to complete this piece today. Um, yes, yeah, so let's let's have at it, shall we? Uh, quite a bit of work to do here um, still, and uh, so I'm just going to get going and talk my way through. So, a part of this process today is obviously going to be a kind of a finishing off in, with acrylic, uh, white acrylic highlights, and I'm going to only be really using it in kind of this area and maybe a touch over there. Uh, might even do a couple of scrapes with the palette knife over in this part, um, but we've got quite a lot of, this is kind of very frothy um, foam, I, 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 I struggle to describe it, it's because it's small, and it's just sort of, it's a small wave, so it's just tinkling along, so the bubbles are quite large, um, so you can still see into the foam, not like with the other, the other uh, pieces that I've worked on before where it's it's kind of more solid you know you get some you know so here we've got much darker areas in, in the uh, within the foam um, just giving rise to that idea of it being much more sort of translucent as it were So there's quite a lot of contrast even in the white foamy uh, parts of this wave. So I'm just using my dark olive green here um, and I'm going to also include some brown and perhaps even some charcoal as well just to accentuate that before I start coming and using my uh, white acrylic. Right, so um, yeah, so further developments now on the on the uh, on the hacking front. And that uh, and I found out that the, that I'm not, obviously not the only one, and I didn't I didn't think I was, um, but I've been hearing of more people um, who's who have been hacked on Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. And in fact, I'm also reading stories about a global outage that spans the full spectrum of the, uh, the meter triad, as I call it, with Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Um, it's it's you know really it's a case of these people these these mega corporations mega businesses becoming too big for their boots such that technology is now overriding the human influence um i read that Facebook has something like, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm in I'm in the ballpark, but uh, something like 2.6 billion um, annual users, active users, annually. Um, that's that's more than a third of the global population. That's crazy. That's just insane. Um, so it just kind of gives rise to how can they possibly get on top of it? How can they possibly deal with all of the the defects, the cases that, that come up, the hacking, you know, because the larger they grow, the, the more susceptible they are to, to hackers, etc. And 
you know, they claim to, 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 to have all these um, systems in place to protect the, uh, to protect their, uh, their members. What a lot of crap, because um, they will, without a second thought, simply shut down. Look, I was saying yesterday, there, there's, unlike myself, there's many people out there who use Facebook as a business. Um, and, and of course, there's Facebook business and there's all of that sort of thing. So, you know, they, they spend a lot of money every month on boosting their advertising, um, um, setting up adverts, um, you know, just to be shut down without, without any recourse whatsoever, without actually being able to pick up the phone or send an email and get somebody, a human being, to action things. Nope. Sorry for you. You, you, it's impossible to contact anybody. It's impossible to email anybody. They don't. Ha they don't show. They don't showcase. They don't feature any emails to where you can contact them online. They don't f showcase any forums, any active forums where you can you can live message. Nope. And somebody will, you know, some some somewhere somehow that somebody, some person, some human being live flesh and blood will actually take up your case and, and look into it. You know, I, I know I'm sounding angry, but I'm actually not angry anymore because I'm angry with this, this colossal system where you're, you're nothing, you're nothing less than a, than a one or a zero. You're, you're, a, um, you're just a, a, a little blip. You come, you go. Um, and I'm kind of reminded of, you know, the good old days where you joined a bank, had your money in the bank, you ran into some difficulties or whatever. You went in and you spoke to your bank manager and he would sort something, he or she would sort something out. And then as the banks grew and grew, and grew and became greedier. Um, so you, as a as a as a as a customer, became purely a number in their system. You can't get to speak to anybody. You can't. You, everything is automated. So you, you're speaking to the digital world. Um, everything is automated. Everything is self-help. Um, unless you, even when you physically go to the bank, you can't even get it. You, you can't get to speak to somebody. So those kinds of things. I mean, I was trying to, 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 to call, um, telecom today, for example, my, my, my um, uh, cell phone service provider, just to kind of inform them that my cell phone number had been compromised via Facebook, WhatsApp, etc. And do you think I could actually get through to uh, everything is press this button for this, press that number for that, press this hashtag, whatever star for this or that. You can't actually, you actually give up. It, they, be, man, they make it so difficult for anybody to to conduct oneself in a normal human way. And that's disturbing because, you know, looking at, looking at the bigger picture, not just my scenario or others like myself, but looking at the bigger, the broader spectrum of, of how the world works these days, it's actually beginning to get quite scary because <laughs> and I even find myself admittedly starting to have thoughts of conspiracy theory, etc. Because it's, it's become this, this has shown up to me as, as being a very real thing. A very real thing that 
I can't have full control over my stuff. Um, and that I am, I am susceptible to, to attack and plundering. And I have no protection. I have no recourse and no protection against any of that. That's bloody scary. So you kind of want to opt for the simpler things. Um, I have found a Facebook equivalent platform called MeWe. Um, I think it has something like 11 million, somewhere around there, subscribers. Seems to be a little bit more genuine. Um, they don't, the one thing that they don't do is, is share your information like Facebook does, like Facebook tells you they do. Uh, they, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, you know, Facebook just dictates, this is what you have to accept or, or not. And people accept because they're desperate for this, this, this thing, this, this being in connection, being in touch. There are other ways to get in touch with, with your, the people that are around the world. And, you know, so, you know, so then you start to broaden the, broaden the influence to, to social media influencers and so on and so forth, who, who rely on desperate, desperately rely on, on their Facebook and Instagram and what have you to, Put their garbage out there. Um, and I mean, it's very easy to fall into the trap, you know. Um, luckily, I'm kind of, I was kind of teaching on the, on the edge of the precipice and managed to pull back because, you know, it's, 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 I can understand how, you know, now having lost all of the posts that I had on Facebook, all of the posts and art that I'd shared on Instagram, all gone presumably gone forever um that sense of loss that sense of being violated almost it's it's like it's like when you've when your ho home has been burgled and you have nothing you, you can't it's done it's gone and you can't do anything about it you can just you know and it, it's that same that it's almost the same feeling and i can imagine how some people their lives can be destroyed by it because their very businesses can be destroyed when they rely so heavily on Facebook. Gosh, me, it's crazy. This is a crazy world where, and it, it becomes crazier all the time. Um, hello, Sage. Sage has come to say hello. Oh, you, you, come. Here you go. Hey, little Sage. Hey, little Sage. <laughs> There we go. She come to come to give us the voice of reason. Hey, yes. There we go. Right. Um, yeah. So the world is changing all the time. There are. I, don't, I, 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 I you know, I, I don't want to get into the psychology of what makes people want to maliciously destroy other people's lives but they're out there these predators these not just sexual predators but but um, predators in general uh, these people who get a kick out of destruction and you'll find that probably I'm assuming that you'll find that the vast majority of these these people that do this kind of thing are youngsters they're not mature they haven't developed that sense of conscious growth maturity sensibility apathy whatever it might be um, 
to uh, to be responsible about life. So they just do it for a laugh and they don't actually realize and they couldn't care less about the damage, the catastrophe that they're causing. They just get big kudos out of being this, th these hackers that, that broke into the bank or whatever they do. Um, yeah, taking away people's livelihoods, it's, it's crazy. So, at least um, I've realized now that, it's the, that, you know, other people are just as frustrated as I am with this whole situation. And they are also struggling with trying to get things back to s some semblance of normalcy. Um, yeah. So I'm not, I, I, don't, I, I don't stand alone in this. In any case, I'm also, I'm resolved to, if, if I ever do um, get a Facebook account again, I'm certainly not going to give it much credibility. I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be posting a great deal certainly not every day I'm going to be posting on other platforms just looking into Pinterest now instead of instead of Instagram certainly my coaching and what have you I'm going to be promoting more on uh, on uh, LinkedIn Yeah, it's just incredible though, isn't it? How very, very volatile we are. If we, the more dependent we are on these platforms, the more volatile we are. You know, I've got I've got uh, I've got a friend who I actually reached out to um, to uh, to see if anything could be done about regaining my account and there's absolutely nothing that can be done um, that she could do even but uh, you know she was saying she depends a gr to a great deal on on Facebook it's her business she's a social social media um, her business is in social media so she relies to a great extent on social media, running different groups and platforms and so uh, groups and pages and so on. Um, so then you have to create another profile for yourself that lies dormant um, in the eventuality or the probability, or possibility or probability that your account is going to be compromised and then you switch to another admin. Um, and then you have also pages that can be compromised, like my sister, um, their business, a business page that they'd set up. Um, luckily it wasn't running for too long, but uh, that got compromised. Facebook shut it down and there was no recourse, none whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very, very upsetting and frustrating. All of this, this energy that I've expended on trying to work out ways in, trying to do this and then that the next thing and, and, and failing every time and getting exasperated and, you know, the, the amount of time and energy and stress that I've actually suffered as a result of this is, is gosh, it doesn't make it worthwhile. It really doesn't. It's just insane. Man. So, yeah. 
the the jury the jury is out as to whether or not I'll be back on Facebook or Instagram. More than likely not Instagram. But uh, if I if I ever do come back onto Facebook, I'll, it'll just be a who knows my 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 original account might be restored. Might might a very very long shot. But it, I guess it is a possibility if they ever, depending on what's gone down, I don't understand the full extent of what goes on. Uh, but depending, I might get my original account back. And, and then, I, but even then, I'm not going to share as much as I did before. I'm not going to, I'm not going to invest of myself as much in it. And that's the crux of it, isn't it? That we invest of ourselves in this and then it can be just taken away yeah not only investing money as many people do in boosting and all this kind of stuff but investing their time investing their memories you know um, you, you, you hand your memories to, to, to Facebook to safeguard from a moral perspective from an ethical perspective I think Facebook needs to be curtailed anyway that's just my two cents worth it's it will make not a, a drop in the ocean's difference. And I'm not, but I might sound bitter and twisted about it all, but I'm not really. I, 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 I realize that I just need to get on with my stuff and Not worry about it all too much. I've got much better things and bigger things to focus on. And wondering whether or not Facebook in its infinite stupidity will allow me back in. Right, I'm just using a black contact crown here just to create a few little squiggles and what have you of the on the the bed of the of the water here underneath the a, 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 a shallow layer of water goodness sage right so I want to use my eraser and just Work this up a little bit here. Right. Sage, goodness me.
Right, a little bit more work on at the top here. Sage, I can't see. <sighs> Thanks, I'll just have that. <laughs> I think we might stretch this session to an hour today. First of all, actually, let me let me get going with some white acrylic. First of all, with my trusty old toothbrush. Right. Do I need the toothbrush though? Nope, I don't think so, not in this instance. Maybe in the foreground a little bit here. And it's, uh, there's no spray per se, but uh, I think perhaps I'll just give it, a, give it a wind and see if I can just Now I'm going to use my palette knife. Well, let's go. As I said, I'm going to spread some out over here. not to stick to the page. Yeah, that wasn't meant to happen. Okay, let's just continue on. So I'm being quite sort of liberal with my application of white here and I'm not being very detailed with it either. It's like almost just daubing it on and letting it tell its own story. course now down down here a bit more
and then my trusty old 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 paintbrush and we have a squeak I love squeaks Yeah, this is coming along well. Um, quite happy with it. Right, so whilst that is drying a bit, I think I'll just work up some, 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 with some more white uh, uh, pastel. How are we doing for time? Um, yeah, well, we might make it. We might just make it. You might just make it 45 minutes. That's what I'm saying, trying to say. And lots of little squiggly lines, basically, basically doodling here now, all around. All over this, this surface, behind this little wave that's coming in over here. Got my nice darks there, contrast beneath. So I'm just doodling over the surface here. Um, just to also give it that contrast as well as that idea of depth and form. A 
I've always gone on about how line brings about form. It gives it meaning. It gives this whole thing a story, or or it, rather, it punctuates the story. Then almost a, a sort of a sub subtext. That's what line does. It gives much more relevance. Almost like in in a musical score, certain little certain instruments, even very faintly, will will uh, will add a certain touch, a nuance. That's what line does in art. It, 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 in this instance, it exacerbates the the dancing quality of the water here. It's sort of a joyous expression, dainty. It's not this heavy charging roller. So the use of line here, and the manner in which I I apply the my my uh, pastel is in a jumpy joyous expression if that makes any sense Pity that I can't post the final image up on Facebook anymore because I usually like to do to do that and and tell a little story about what's transpired. Mind you, the same story is also in the. I usually I usually write a few words in the uh, in the uh, text be below the, the the below your video. Um, so if you're interested, have a look there. And just a brief description about what it is, where it is, and what I'm doing, what I'm achieving during, during each session. If you're interested. I do believe that we are almost done. Quite surprisingly, just looking a little bit more of a sky here. Again, using line to give this cloud a little bit more depth, dimension, energy. It's 
smudging the line here and there. Yeah, this almost brings it to conclusion. Yeah, quite a quite a nice little expression. This piece is 
but enjoyed it. Right, and just a little bit more over here. Um, let's just do some with this paler. That's that folks, I do believe I'm done. So let's sign off. Where's my green? There we go, sign off here with green. Go. Uh, yeah. Twenty plenty two. Done. <laughs> there we go, folks. Yeah. So, a quick one. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the the, uh, the these last three sessions. And uh, thank you for bearing with me in my mental meanderings and musings. Um, so yes, do tune in again uh, for the next for the next. Uh, series uh whatever it might be so uh i look forward to seeing you there and uh in the meantime oodles and oodles of toodles and yeah so and uh, if, if you're new to my if you're new to my channel then please if you enjoy what you're seeing then please feel free to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you get notification of any future uploads so uh yes in the meantime, take care, be kind, be gentle, be caring, be loving, etc., etc., and see you again next time, folks. Have a fantastic weekend, and uh, take it easy. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to doodle.